So, from that residency, uh, dun na develop yung type of yung series ng iba pa kong projects na non-object based. Pero gumagawa pa rin naman ako ng object. Pero parang nag-evolve yung thinking ko or yung process na art is not supposed to be just ano, painting or sculptures. So, and then, uh, yun nga, I start doing it in public, you know, outside the gallery or the museum. Na, uh, if you present art outside these institutions, parang mas napapalapit yung mga tao sa iyo. Like sa, yun nga, sa Korea, yung mga tao na yung lumalapit sa iyo, yung ordinary people, then they try to talk to you even I don't speak or understand Korean. So, it's a nice experience yung sa akin, yung parang ganun na, na may communication, may dialogue, using art as the medium, na kahit wala, magkaiba yung language nyo, you can understand each other by the process, or parang by the idea. And then, eventually, uh, nabago yung yung idea ko about my or yung nabago totally from the first uh, or, or, nabago yung lahat ng artistic projects ko or artistic process na eventually nag evolve and then uh, people are getting interested kahit na at first, hindi ko din alam na, na okay yung idea na to. Pero it's fun nga eh. Parang it's a game. I want to play lang. Parang gano'n. I start first with the observing sa surroundings or environment. And then, yun nga, pagka uh, uh, accidental with infusing with reality na nagkakaroon ng something in, parang nagiging interesting sa akin. Like, for example, I did a project with the uh, inmates of uh, Manila City Jail. So, dahil I saw a news, news feed or uh, a news account na they, they made a secret garden inside the jail. So, parang hmm, interesting to ah. So, parang mukhang fiction, pero so, gusto ko maglaro ng gano'n. So, what I did was, I asked the the people from inside the Manila City Jail and then I wanted to do a project with them. This is sabi ko lang. Tapos, in return, I will conduct a workshop for the inmates. Sabi ko, okay naman, meron silang uh, parang development uh, committee for the inmates. So, nag uh, uh, nag uh, parang ocular or nag na immerse muna ako sa community and then I saw different kinds of experiences so from those experiences ay parang uh, nagkakaroon na ng ng uh, seed tas doon ka mag, magagawa ng ng na, of, ng ano na ng project so, let start talaga muna sa communication or dialogue or immersion. Uh, as much as possible, I want to hmm, communicate nga with, directly with the people kasi not most of the people are Filipinos enter galleries or museums. So, I want to have a uh, communication or dialogue with them through your through the art or through the process of the art that I'm doing. So, yun, parang mas nag-enjoy ako na makipag-collaborate sa mga ordinary people. And then, parang it's fun, masaya. So, parang iba yung experience. At the same time, it can be a 
therapy for for them and then also therapy for me because uh, I deal with different kinds of people so so yun pero I also do uh, naman uh, inside our gallery works so pero mas nag ako sa projects na interaction and then community based one of my dream projects, yung it, it's uh, it's with the PSP or Filipina Street Plan. So we want to make a uh, like a festival of uh, street art, maybe Southeast Asia, because uh, so. Uh, Festival of Street Artists from Southeast Asia. Uh, say it's a big community, and then yung nga, one of the main uh, reason kaya lumaki yung community is through blogging and mga networking sites. <clears throat> and then from this uh, blog, na, uh, we build network from different countries uh, Southeast Asia. So whenever, for example, I go to Indonesia, I hook up with them and then uh, graffiti artists from Singapore went here last 2006, so they hook up with us. So, halos magkakilala na yung, sa net, yung network ng graffiti artists or street artists. So we would like to make na may convergence in one area, maybe Manila, Sana, or, or other cities like Cebu, because Cebu is big also in street art. Upcoming project, I have uh, a project with, uh, in, uh, that will be an, on May for the next wave, Yanale, Melbourne. So I'm preparing for that because it's a residency also, and then you have to make your project there. So.